everybody, this is Maggie Sweets, and today I will be showing you an awesome skin hack that will help you edit your skin in less than five minutes. So I'm going to open up this image. This image was taken under overcast weather, so all the lighting is pretty um, even. It was pretty nice to begin with um, when I took the picture. So it was taken with a Canon Mark III body and uh, a 135 millimeter 2.0 lens. It was taken at ISO 250 with an aperture of two and a shutter speed of one one thousand of a second. So as I open it up, I see that it's pretty perfect starting out. And the only thing I'm going to do is lift up the shadows a tad. That's good. And we're going to open the image. Okay, so now I open the image and um, if you have the time, you can go in and just take out some uh, major blemishes that you see. So maybe like right there. If not, the skin hack is pretty nice and it will help you um, edit your images really quickly. So under five minutes. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this background layer by pressing Control J. And then I'm gonna hold down Control button and convert that to a smart object. And then I'm going to press Control J again and duplicate my smart object. So you have two smart objects and they're both duplicated layers of your background image. So you're gonna turn off the visibility on the top one, take layer one and go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And you're going to increase the radius until the nice the skin tone is nice and smooth. So this is too much. This is too little, and this is just right. So we're going to, let's actually back it down a little bit. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna press OK. Now we're gonna turn the visibility on onto the, the top layer and go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. And we're going to increase the radius until you just start seeing those details come up. Um, this is too much. You're gonna get a lot of skin tone text or skin texture, and this is too little. You're not gonna get enough. So just right is when you just start seeing those textures come up. So you're going to press OK, and then you're going to take that, that layer and place it under a hard light blending mode. So that's what, you're, what it'll look like. And then you're going to group these two layers and um, put a mask over them and press Command-I or Control-I to invert that layer. So then you're going to take a brush at 100% opacity for just the forehead and the cheeks. And then when you get closer to those places, those big features that you don't want to blur out, you can just use a 50% opacity brush. So I'm gonna take a white brush and you can um, switch between black and white just by pressing the X key. You can get to your brush quickly just by um, pressing the B key. So that's something to think about. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna press the B key to get to my brush and then I am going to paint the effect on at 100% opacity. I'm gonna zoom in. It's really, really strong, and if you find it to be too strong later, you can always, um, because it's a smart object, you can always go back and um, increase or decrease the effect of that, of either the skin tone layer or the texture layer. So when you get close to the lines right here, you can go back, press X to go back to black, and just take, take it off at maybe 50%, because it will blur the lines, so you, that's just something you have to be careful with. Okay, so I'm gonna take that 100% again, I'm going to go back to start uh, smoothing my skin. Okay. Then I'm going to take a 50% opacity, and I can just get to my opacity really quickly by just typing in 5-0. If I want to get to another opacity, like say if I want to do 13, if I just press 1-3, you see that it changes. Um, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to press 5-0, and that's going to get to my 50% opacity uh, brush. And then I'm going to take that and just go over the other details. You just want to be careful with this because when you get close to those big features that you don't want to blur out, such as the eyes and the nose and the mouth, just uh, be careful with that. Oh, control Z. So I'm just going to go over that. I'm gonna go back to black and get that line off again. Okay. And it's just really, really cool 
Um, I'll show you before and after here. This effect is just so nice if you have to get through images quickly or what, because you don't have to use the patch tool to do, do a bunch of different stuff. Um, you don't have to use the healing brush. You can just do this effect and it is done. And then I'm going to do her hand. You can just go at 100% opacity for the hand. Well, that's a little too strong, so let's try 60. And then press B to get onto my brush. I accidentally went to my pen. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in to see if there's any other um, any other places that we need to get. Okay, good. That's about it. Um, because these are smart objects here, the texture and the um, skin tone layer, you can, uh, because they're smart objects, you can decrease or increase them later on if you think that it's something's not right. So if you find that there's not enough texture in your skin, you can just go double click on this high pass right there and you can increase the texture. I don't know if you can see that, let's zoom in. So you can increase the texture, that's way too much. So I'm gonna get it back down. Okay, that's good. Um, and then if you see that the skin tone layer is not blurred enough or it's too blurred, you can come back in here and decrease that, such as that, or increase it. And um, let's get too much. So this would be too much. And this is just right. So you're going to press OK. And let's do a before and after. So here's before and here is after. Here is before and here is after. So this is before you do all of your dodging and burning and all of that fun stuff um, and iris enhancing. Uh, but this is just a quick and basic way to smooth that skin. Um, and then overall, the last thing I'm going to do is just decrease it overall. So it just blends a little bit nicer. So yeah, so there's a before and after that. So hopefully this helped you. Um, it's so fun to do. And it's basically like frequency separation, but just a little bit faster and quicker and um, nicer to do when you're editing a lot of images. So hopefully this helped you. Thank you so much for watching.